back outside, we got the LV1, the E-Tech 5, both got air. Now the E-Tech 5, in its defense, this one is brand new again, right out of the box. Bought it yesterday afternoon. This one here, the LV1, has about 67 or 68,000 shots on it. So, we're going to, hopefully you can see me, I'm not a videographer. I'm going to shoot the LV1, very quiet. Now, now the E-Tech. LV. E-Tech. Of course, the E-Tech, you got a little more noise with the uh, hopper. Here, you know, I got my gravity fed. Ah, on ramp, check it out. Not bad. Anyway. E-Tech. Forgive me, I'm trying to do this one-handed with these guns. LV. E-Tech. LV, E-Tech. Anyway, tells you a little bit of the difference in the sound. Feel-wise, I don't know, they still feel the same. LV does, to me, feel a little bit better in my hand, but it's so negligible. I don't know, honestly, that it's worth it. I, I mean. It is, but, you know, worth is what? I don't know. It is what it is, right? I guess it's worth what somebody's going to pay for it. just wanted to show you guys, I see a lot of debate going on. People kind of calling the LV-1 or the E-Tech the LV-1 and... They're not the same gun. They don't operate the same. Um, the E-Tech is not. Turn the damn thing on. The E-Tech is not as quiet. It's not as smooth. I don't care what any, of course, like I said, it's brand new. But I don't think, you know, you're going to get this shot out of this, even when you have 60 or 70,000 shots. Just don't see that happening. They don't operate the same. You just can't get it. And 